What's good, y'all? You dub back here again in 2022. And no, I'm not sick. If you hear more somber, serious tone in my voice. Don't think I had forgotten about this series of videos that I had begun before I took my hiatus, my longer extended hiatus, right? I'm always unfiltered, but in these videos, I'm specifically unvarnished about this entire system, about a subject. I'm not playing games. I'm not pulling punches. I don't pull punches, but we're, we're not just doing jazz. We're going in straight Deontay Wilder haymakers up in here. And I'm about to do a series of videos that break down this fucking system, that break down things presently, current and current iteration, as well as starting to go into the history, as well as going all the way back to antiquity, okay? And this video is the foundation, okay, if, if you will. You can say a few other ones are more foundational as the building blocks of the system, but this is the baseline. This is literally the cement's been poured, the structure of the house is set, so that you understand as a guiding point, as a cornerstone, as, you know, a compass to where the direction of what I'm about to address, okay? You can always go back to this video if you need a reference point to be like, okay, I can see where you're going. And of course, you can always comment down below, you know, we can discuss things. I mean, this can go down into the rabbit hole through the warring and beyond, right? Because that's what I like to do. You're going to hear commentary that I talk about on damn near a daily basis. A lot of on the ground stuff that I discuss with people. Obviously, I can't get into everything I talk about. And if there's any points of contention, any points of confusion, any points of clarity that you would like me to discuss on certain specific points that I get into. Because it'll be a lot, I know. Um, and I know I talk a lot, but there will be a lot of jam-packed content in these videos. So... Without further ado, this entire system is based on the plantation. It is what it is. And I want you brothers, especially you young men, to understand this. If you're black, if you're a black, Irish, Native American, slash indigenous people's descent, you were set up not to succeed at all. Let me, let me put this in simple terms. You're supposed to fail. Okay? Now, we'll get into reasons as to why that is. In, in the, you know, possible starting in this video and then in the future. But you got to understand, you're not supposed to succeed. If you luck out, that's semi-intentional and whatnot. And again, we'll talk about matrix and stuff later on down the line. But I need you to understand that the blueprint is the plantation. It goes all the way back to antiquity. But we can just start with the American plantation. So... What are things that you're told, right? You're told, uh, just work hard, right? Just do things the right way. Just do it legally, right? You know, just if you work hard, you put your nose to the grindstone, everything will turn out all peachy keen. Everything will just be all fine. That's all utter bullshit. I'm not telling you these are excuses. These are reasons. I'm not telling you not to bust your ass and don't work hard. Don't be a man and man up and take care of your business, as people say. But understand that a lot of people got legs up that you probably never got. If you're of my complexion, probably not. Considering if you're black, you're Irish, you're Native American. You've been put five to six generations back economically. Let me reiterate that. Five to six generations behind the eight ball. From the jump, from your birth, before you were born. And, and if you're black, every single generation damn near you're going to have to restart. And do the work that your dad, granddad, etc. should have had done. Because there's no generational wealth being passed down. We're not putting the cart before the horse. But you got to understand this. If you're Irish, you ain't been given nothing either. If you're Native American, we're not so please. An inheritance, what is that? Here's the thing. The black, for black folks, it goes, the, the history of oppression is bare minimum 400 years. For the Native Americans, bare minimum five centuries. 
and for the Irish bare minimum eight centuries. Okay, I've had many of these discussions on Discord and all on offline, online, more. Right, so we got to start there. Who were the peoples that were the indentured servants and the slaves? Blacks, black folks, and the Irishmen. Okay, who are the free peoples? Black, Irish, and Native American. Who are the three groups that I specifically say, you know, are that this society's always been against? Now, we'll get to brown, yellow, and more. But I had to start here because I want to make these things very clear. Not all of us are in the same situation. A lot of folks came much later. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Poles, Ukrainians, the, uh, the Italianos, right? The Italians. The Arab folk, the Latinos, all of them came much later. And I'm not dismissing their struggle, but some of them had advantages that we didn't have. Okay? Even though it helped build this nation, right? So, you start there, right? Now, Native Americans don't even have a voice. Black folks? Oh, y'all already know. Do I have to get into atrocity after atrocity? Native Americans, damn near genocided, you know, Placed and in, in stuck on reservations. There's an old song by Johnny Cash, King of Country. Shout out to the legend. You know, drunken Iron Hayes. He don't answer anymore. Not to whiskey shooting Indian or the Marine that went to war. Ballad of Iron Hayes. Check it out if you never heard it. The Irish. Do the Irish own any businesses? You ever seen an Irishman with a business? I'll wait. I asked people this question. They said they can't tell me. I said exactly. And nobody even thinks about the Irish because they're just lumped in with white. See? But the Irish were never loved. Need, uh, need any further thing? Go check out the Irish struggle. Easter spring, 1916. The IRA, Northern Ireland being literally segregated from the Republic of Ireland, the Emerald Island. I've always been for a free United Ireland before I even understood the history. And I'm still for it. When you look at these matters, our people's been fucked over. Now, let's get to the plantation itself, right? What does the plantation structure say? Plantation's been across the globe. China, India. India, you have an entire caste system. Look at dark people versus the light-skinned people. China. You had colorism as well. Do you know why that is? Because those who were in the fields grew dark. Those who were in the house were fair skinned. This isn't me being racist. Obviously, I started talking about the Irish. I'm just letting y'all know how this shit works. Okay? You look at ancient Roman times. You look at ancient Greek times. Ancient Egyptian times. I can go throughout. There's always been a plantation system. It just was more so perfected later on down the line with the British and then the Americans even perfected it further just and I can get into the the imperialistic systems but understand that plantation ever hear of a term buck breaking people go into the whole rape of the strongest you know in this case black male but you also not only that aspect you had the times where they would whip and, and break them in front of the women. And say, see here, in front of the men, in front of the children. Firstly, firstly, you know, you show you show the children that your hero, your dad, ain't nothing. You're strong. To the men, you're, even the strongest among you, we're going to break him. And to the women especially, and look what's happened with black women today. To the women, there is no protection from you. You best get on our program. Okay. All all that masculine protection, that's just gone. All that provision, we're your provider. You play ball by our rules, everything will be fine for you and your family. Everything will be fine for you. Get the women to sell out the men. Send them down a creek without a paddle. You isolate the men. You say, listen, if you're if you have dissension. We're going to make an example out of you. We're going to beat you. We're going to tar and feather you. We're going to do all kind of vile and degrading things. So, boy, stay in line. Nigga, stay in line. You understand? 
if you you know you you have the token slave what if what did dog on the legendary malcolm x say in his legendary epic speech the field negro and the house negro the house nigga was the one in the slaves he loved his master would have done anything for him because he got the good scraps. He got the good seat. You know, he got the little bit of education. He got the. So, yes, master. What can I do? Yes, master. Yes, master. Yeah, I'm going. Yes, master. I'm going to work hard for you, master. We're going to. I'm going to build up this on for you, master. I'm going to get scrub, good crumbs off the table. I'm going to get the good side of the pork. I'm going to get the good side of the hog. I'm going. I'm going to do well and I'm going to make well for myself. While the rest of the field Negroes. And take any period of history, you want to talk about the serfs, you want to talk about the hillers. Take the, the field, the headmaster. They were doing the labor intensive work. If you've never had the opportunity to see cotton fields and see what they had to do before the cotton get, where they had to pick and destroy their hands, destroy their back, destroy and till the fields. And oh yeah, get this though. Why did they bring these peoples, blacks especially, because in the South and in the Caribbean and whatnot, you had white European folks who weren't, most of them weren't used to the hard labor because, again, they already had the plantation system already somewhat in uh, tow with feudalism and such. So they bring these people who, don't get a twist, a lot of these men were highly intelligent. OK, they knew how to grow food. They know how to live off the land, knew how to survive, knew how to build, knew how to construct, knew how to engineer and do all that great stuff. Right. You take that. You use it because it's hard work, because you saw how many times like Jamestown, I uh, believe not Raleigh. There, there was a few different colonies that failed that, you know, died out. Well, you needed intelligent enough you know you can get into the intelligent enough but initially you needed that not just for the manual labor like it's told but you needed the intellectual the intellectual capacity and the ability the hardiness to be able to survive same thing of why they used the irish because they were used to doing the same thing same thing with the native americans if you understand the history of thanksgiving thanksgiving is not necessarily a bad thing but the native americans helped the pilgrims and such be able to survive OK, because they knew how to grow food. They knew the land. They knew the layout. They knew how to do all these things, build, you know, societies and more. All right. So you needed both the physical prowess and you need the intellectual prowess. Right. This isn't me saying all Europeans are stupid. I'm just explaining a ill forgotten part of history that is intentionally forgotten and that is intentionally not taught as a part of the brainwashing program and indoctrination. The lazy slave. How the hell you be lazy? If you've ever worked manual labor, you know that it does not easy work. And you notice, and we'll get more into the plantation mentality later, but you notice how in this system, you work some of the hardest working jobs. Are they well compensated? No. So what do they trick people into doing? Into white collar work? Into work that isn't conducive to actual upkeep of the infrastructure isn't conducive to actual building in the society isn't conducive to learning how the structure of of society works to use your mind while your body in conjunction they put you to slave labor barely compensate you so they say listen if you do well if you get involved with us you can live well but if you don't and you, you're just a menial job. Or if you're too intelligent and you don't play ball by us, all you have is to, to the prison or to the slave mines. And we can talk later about the private prison industrial complex, the military industrial complex, and, you know, the, the education to prison pipeline. And it's not an education system, mind you. Again, it's a system of indoctrination. Brainwashing, indoctrination, and programming that I've mentioned many, many times and various discussions and will continue to hammer home. But understand that the plantation, the blueprint, things are set up. Look at how corporations are run. I talk about, I'll talk more in the plantation mentality and the use of the NFL, for example. But if you understand that structure, you will see it. If you understand the structure of, of just the day laborer, 
and how he has no work. If you look at times back in the 19th century, and this is what I mean, the, you know, the Italians and stuff, they had an opportunity to come and build businesses and stuff. But if you look at the 19th century, you could go out and homestead, pioneer, go out to see the, the 18th century. You could go out to do that. Where can you do that now? It's a giant plantation. The nation states are nothing but giant plantations. And I'll get into neo-feudalism later and, and delve more into that. But I need y'all to understand what it is and what it ain't. And when I'm talking about fighting a system, when I'm personally putting myself on the line, when I'm literally living in the hell that I'm going through, the hell that so many millions upon millions are going through, if not billions, if you're talking globally, but if we're talking the United States, tens if not hundreds of millions of Americans are going through this hell. You're not supposed to CC. And then they they introduce what is the, the biggest thing that screwed you over economically? Credit, the credit card. They introduce credit, these loans, to where you're never supposed to get out of the mountain of loan. So you always, and you're not getting paid enough, you can't get by, so you're forced to take out a loan and you're forced to use a credit card. And then you get into more debt. And then there's the depression, the potentiality of suicide. If we're talking adults, we haven't even dealt with the children yet. Right. And what they do with the indoctrination of the children. We can get into there in a second. But, you know, they make it hard as a man. And then the women don't believe in you. And then you're viewed as an ATM. And they're done. And I haven't even gotten to the women's part yet. Because for the women, oh, oh, they got them hook, line and sinker. Only a few women don't have a mind stuck in the damn system. Because it's gone of, and then they made it gone of century. So it's advantageous for women to keep and hold on to the plantation. You understand? It's always been like that. Get the man out of the home. Give him welfare. You see? It's all the plantations. They've changed tactics, but it's the same game. It's the same fucking game. Send the men elsewhere and send them into prison. Get them on child support. State becomes daddy. Abort your children. Give your children away. Because it, it, it's too hard to raise children. It's too hard to be a damn woman. It's too hard to be a damn mom. It's too hard to be a damn wife. You understand? For the children, you teach them young. Just like the Hitler youth. Nazi youth, whatever you want to call them. It's like with the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. And I could get into a reason why they rose to power in, an, in another video. But understand the plantation is giant and encompassing. Why do you need a passport? Why do you need a birth certificate? Why do you need a social security card? You ever thought about it? Passport says, you know, you go to another nation. Let's say you go to France, Costa Rica, China, Japan, Australia. Singapore, Russia, you know, Italia, Italy, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela. Boy, what you doing here? Okay, can't stay here long. And if you do this, you'll 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 be locked in our plantation. Boy, what you doing here? Okay. Instead of being able to move freely as a free man, as a free woman. And as far as the children, you don't you don't give them you teach them get a job get good get that good job now go to college now you'll get a good job. That's what they taught. Not taught about the principal life. Where's the teaching of entrepreneurship? Where's the teaching of building a business? Where's the teaching of any hope? And oh yeah, where where are the economic skills that you teach them? All that some of us with sports. That's it. What skills? And I'll get into the breakdown of the, its present society in a later video. Again, this is the foundation. But understand that if you're struggling presently, if you're not getting by economically, if you're, you're, you're at your wits end, you've tried everything legitimately. And some brothers even illicitly. And you see what they do. You know, they, there's that temptation. There's that push to try by any means necessary. To try to get that paper, that green, that almighty dollar, that dinero, just to be able to survive. And they, make, they monetize everything so that they monetize you out of living. To where you're subsiding, to where 
its basic existence at best. Few live, very few, very few thrive, and thriving involves society. And then they encourage isolationism, they encourage extreme self selfishness, selfishness, excuse me, no communities, broken homes, broken families, broken communities. Where are the communities anymore? Where? There's a few, but are most of them really communities? How well do they support each other? How well is the economy flowing in them? What are they building? And, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get into the, the breakdown of society and what they haven't passed on. But how many young men? OK. And I ask these I ask people this question. How many people do you know who are mechanics, namely men, because men are typically the ones that get involved in these kind of occupations, these kind of careers, these kind of uh, fields and industries. How many men do you know that are carpenters, plumbers, electricians, mechanics? I'll wait. And when I say no, I'm talking doing it professionally, making a living, doing it as a career, doing it at owning a business. How many? You know? I'll wait. Very few. Right. That's for the majority. Okay, and the ones you know, what are the age demographic? Most say 40 plus. 40 plus. They fail to pass on that information to be able to upkeep the infrastructure. People are talking about, oh, there's going to be AI and automation take over. Who's going to upkeep the infrastructure? And what happens if there's no oil? Again, I'll get into that stuff later, but I'm just presenting the entire plantation. What ways are they to make money? Oh, do it on, do it. And then they bar access one way and another way and another way. You need this certification. You need this. You need this. You need this. You need all these papers. You need all these degrees. You all these. For what? To do what? To be able to earn a living? And are you actually earning a living? Are you actually being paid what you're owed? I know a lot of times I haven't. I've had money that, that was never given to me. I've sometimes left jobs or gigs because I wasn't getting paid what I was owed. And I was breaking my back in the damn process. See, because if you're too intelligent, see, they want you intelligent enough to be able to operate machines, to be able to follow orders, to be subservient. That's part of the reason why the certain psychological profile of a lot of police see but they don't want you too intelligent because if you're too intelligent, you're too skeptical. You ask questions. OK, you're not just going to follow any old order. You're going to have a m potential moral, you know, reasoning, logical reasoning, critical thinking, those skills that used to be taught. But in a lot of cases aren't really taught anymore. But a lot in our generation are waking up. It's your mind. Right. The plantation blueprint. If you look at every single structure of society, you look, oh, don't even get me started on the legal system. We'll be here easily another 30, 30 minutes. Easy. If not another hour. The song 100 Years by Plies gives you the blueprint for that. Check that out. Especially if you're a rap and hip hop fan. If you've never heard it, blow your mind. Also, Song America, Trick Daddy featuring society. Tells you what it is about the social system. I mean, I can go song after song. Johnny Five from the Full Box. Just listen to the whole Fight for Tool, Fight with Tools album. Just listen to that entire album. I mean, he, he literally just details the shit. Listen to Rise Against. All right? With the whole Appeal to Reason. Listen to that album. Two of the all-time greatest albums, my dad. Listen to Rage Against the Machine's first album. Just details. And then, of course, Bulls on Parade. I mean, it, it just... A lot of artists have told y'all what the game is. Watch the movie Scarface. Al Pacino and them literally told y'all what the game is. First you need the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the women. I can show you time after time. The Joker in the Dark Knight told you what the game is. I can go on. And on and on and on. We can talk about the Matrix. We can talk about so many things that I do on this channel and, and more. Like I said, this was an introductory video. We're about to go way deeper with a lot of these concepts that I spitballed at y'all. But this is, you know, I thought it would be best for me 
to, and I'm, I'm just getting started, man. I'll be having literal hours, two hours, three hour discussions on this stuff. I feel like I haven't even begun to crack what I want to say to y'all. Okay. Unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the subject matter. Um, if you want any points of clarity, comment below. If you want any videos, there's a lot of videos I have lined up. What is ownership? What is property? What is civilization? Um, shoot, I a lot of things. Anti-civilization, neo-feudalism, and so many other concepts. All right. And I'm going to give you a different perspective. Remember, I am an anarchist. And even amongst anarchists, I am an anomaly in a lot of ways. And it's because I've studied so much about history and societies. And if you understand systems, okay, I'll leave you on this. What is a system? Actually, that, that'll probably be the next video that I do. What is a system? Uh, because that'll be another fundamental video for you to understand when I'm referring to systems and when I'm referring to just things on the macro as well as on the micro. So I'll leave you with that. Um, leave you a little food for thought. And until next time, y'all have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Be easy, be safe, keep your head up, persevere. And remember, if you're struggling, you're not alone. There are a lot of brothers and sisters out here, a lot of comrades who in the struggle with you. There's a lot of people going through it right now. And people are not prepared for what's coming. They're not prepared for the mass involuntary homelessness, the mass unemployment, the mass poverty. That unless things derail, deviate drastically with, and I've been saying it since last year, when I was on hiatus, the next three to five years, it's coming. It'll make the Great Depression look cute. And a large part of it is due to this giant plantation system. But, again, we'll discuss that further later. Peace.